In this video, we're going to be making a really cool art display, and I am so excited to show you how to do this. I've actually made a couple of these before. I've made two, one for each of my little girls, and they hang on a big gallery wall um, in our hallway so that they each have their own. Their they each have one with their name on them um, so they can each display their individual art. But my oldest is um, super in love with art and she's been making a ton. So I decided to make a second one for her room. That way she can take some pride in some of her work and do um, a little bit of display in her room too. So um, this is a really, really fun project. And if you don't wanna make an art um, sign, you can take the tips and idea from this tutorial and you could make this be um, something that holds um, Miscellaneous papers. You can make it hold pictures. Um, so once you see what I'm, where I'm going with um, this idea, you can personalize this to do whatever you would like to do that fits um, whatever um, season of life that you are in. So for this project, we are going to be using the Cricut Joy. We are going to be cutting a entire um, line up here, and I will measure it to see how long it's going to be. But this is the perfect. Um, idea for the Cricut Joy. You can also use any other cutting machine with this. You would just need your 12 by 24 mat um, to go inside. Um, but since we're gonna be doing continuous cutting with the Joy, you'll just need a roll of vinyl. So I'm gonna be using this pretty tulip color. Let me double check, that's the, yep. Tulip. So um, I'm going to use the tulip color. We're going to need some transfer tape. I wanted to leave the box on this for you guys because I have been really talking up the new transfer tape um, and it has certainly surprised me as well because their old transfer tape that I used to use when I first started was just not amazing at all and I ended up tossing it. Um, but this, it does not say strong grip, so it's just the one that's regular. Um, so I love it. It works really good. I've tested it on glass and I've tested on wood and it's really nice. So bravo Cricut. Um, so then also we're going to need some scissors and a weeding tool and a scraping tool. We're also going to be using some other vinyl. I believe this is Paper Studio. So it's like a really pretty gold glitter. Um, and then we are going to be using some hot glue um, as well. So I need to grab my little glue gun. And then we're going to be using some clothes pins. And these, I guess these must be from Michaels. I bought these ages ago. Um, and I love them because they come in a variety of sizes, first of all. And second of all, they... Um, they're really distressed, so they're distressed clothespins, so they're really fun. I'll try to see if they still have these at Michael's um, on their website and link them for you down below. Um, always utilize the description box below because I will link all the products that I have used. That way, if you want to create the same look or something similar yourself, you have a starting point with um, supplies. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our measuring tape and we're just gonna measure. Um, so this bottom portion will be used for just the clothespin only. So the only workable space we're gonna be using is in this top um, rectangle up here. So I love this, it's just um, really fun. Oh, by the way, I did paint this with um, some chalk paint. So I just painted it with a light chalk paint. I'll link the chalk paint below. Um, and then I distressed it with um, a sander. I might have hand sanded hand sanded this one um so um any way you do it is just fine but it gave it a little distressed look which was really nice okay so i believe this comes in at about 25 inches but it's oh it's 25 and a half so 25 and a half inches in length and then this top little portion is three inches again i'm just measuring from here to here three inches in height. So we're gonna use those measurements when we are um, spelling out our words in design space and while we're sizing them as well. That will be very helpful. Okay guys, make sure before we get started in design space, make sure you guys have already subscribed. There's gonna be some really, really cute things. Um, coming up, there's gonna be some craft room inspiration. So if you wanna decorate your craft room, I have some inspiration on that. There's also gonna be some craft room storage inspiration too. So lots of fun things coming up. I did a lot of planning, um, so make sure you're subscribed. All right, let's hop into design space and we will get this little text all um, designed and I'll show you how we're gonna size it and get everything cut out on the joy. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead over in this um, shapes box right here and we are going to just replicate the 25 and a half inch by three inch um, portion of the sign that we're gonna be um, working with today. So what we're gonna do is we don't want to be working with a perfect square, so we're gonna unlock it right here. And then we can just go over here and type in 25.5 by three. 
and that is going to be our exact um, shape that we're working with. So let me see if I can make this a tad bigger. Okay, that's perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead over here in the color section and I'm just gonna color this white. And this is just for visual purposes. So the reason I do this is because now I can start layering my letters and my design on here. And when I do that, I will be able to accurately size it and know um, visually what space I have to work with. That way I'm not really guessing, um, playing a guessing game. Because if you end up mismeasuring, um, then you're gonna have to recut your vinyl and that's just no fun. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to text and I am going to add look what whoops what I made and then exclamation point okay and then the text I'm going to be using is called Kate's ABC's if you guys have been watching some of my sh uh, shows my tutorials um, you know that I really like this font it's just um, it's really just simple but it's also kind of um, childlike too so it kind of works for a variety of things so I'm just going to size this up just a tad more. I think that's about where I would like it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, some stars on the side here. So I'm just going to go to the images section and I'm going to just search stars. Okay. And these are the ones that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to insert the images here and I'm going to size these down just about right there and whoops now what i'm going to do is now that i have this one um, size how i'd like it i'm just going to duplicate it and put some more on the other side and i did that um whoops in that order because i just think it's easier to do the first one and size it and then um resize the other one or i'm sorry do the first one <laughs> and then um duplicate it because now they're the same size Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am just going to flip this horizontally. That way, let's see, and then let me do it vertically as well. Um, that's just going to allow it to just be a little bit differentiated from the other side. Okay, and now I've been pulling this white backing back and forth, so it's kind of getting all over the place. Um, there we go. Okay, so now, if you guys can hear my little kids chattering in the background, they're upstairs playing with daddy, and um, so, just so you know, that's what the little background <laughs> noise is. Okay, so that is the final look that I'm going for. I love it, it looks great. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and hide this backdrop. Everything is sized how I want it, everything looks wonderful, so I don't need that guide anymore. I'm gonna make sure that my joy is selected up here. Um, I don't need this little layer here, okay. Um, so the joy is selected, so I'm just going to hit make it. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to um, tell it that on this first one, I am actually going to be going on the mat. And the reason I'm selecting that is because my gold is actually full size vinyl. It's not smart vinyl. So I'm not going to be feeding that um, like smart vinyl through the machine. I will have to put that on a mat. Um, luckily, the Cricut Joy does come with a green mat. So you can place any material um, that the Cricut Joy can cut on that mat. And it doesn't have to be smart material. So I'll just say done for that one. And then for this one, um, it, we will just feed it in accordingly with smart materials. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click continue and it's gonna locate my joy. And then what I'll do is I will make my selection. So I am going to, let me see if I can find glitter vinyl for this because it might need a different setting. Let me just type in vinyl. Okay. Um, let's see what I can find here. Maybe this one. Anything that really says glitter, I'm going to try, I think. Let me try this and see if the settings work out. Um, because it's not just regular vinyl. Okay, so let me try that. I'm going to go ahead and load um, this glitter vinyl onto the mat and then we'll load it into the machine and get cutting and then we will work on doing the smart vinyl as well. 
Okay, um, it's worth mentioning that I went in and I noticed that the stars were all kind of mismatched on the mat. So what I did is I went back and I welded the three stars in together individually in their little clusters. Um, so make sure you do that. If not, they're just going to print haphazardly and then you're going to have to kind of place them all together. So it's either or if you want to do it that way or the other way. Um, but I thought I should mention I did go back and do that. So it's auto load. You just um, load it right against the wheels and it will automatically pull it in. It does measure the mat to make sure it's aligned and that you have enough material. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna ask you to press go on your device and then it will get to cutting. Okay, so that one's already done cutting and we'll see if that setting helped um, cut those really nice. It looks like it did, but let's go ahead just before we finish up here. We actually have a little bit of scrap material left, so we'll save that. Okay, and let's just weed this really quick. Sometimes I weed mid-project um, just because if I need to recut this, I kind of want to know right now. Make sure this glitter vinyl is really fun to work with, but it can be a little bit of stinker to get started weeding. Okay, so that worked really well, that setting that we used. So those look super sweet. Here are the little stars. How fun. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to auto load the Smart Material. So it is just going to load into the Cricut Joy by itself. What you do is you just press the vinyl up against the wheels and then it'll pull it in, just like that. And it's gonna pull it and make sure, first and foremost, that we have um, enough vinyl to complete our project, which is really, really helpful. So on my screen, I'm just gonna collect or click Smart Vinyl Permanent. And there it goes measuring for me. And then it's gonna roll back out. I like just keeping the roll this way because it just rolls back into itself. It's super nice. And we have enough length, so it's gonna go ahead and get cutting. So now I can just click go. And then that will get cutting. It's gonna look so cute. Okay, so now I can unload it. It's already done cutting. Took just a couple minutes to cut. And now what I can do is I can go ahead and cut off the end. And then I'm going to cut, I'm gonna make a mark here. Um, so the design is all up the side, so I can cut the way my scraps. So I'm just going to make a little slit right there and then I'm going to use the guides on the back. It kind of just helps me to cut a nice straight line. I love it when vinyl has guides on the back because it's just like that wrapping paper. I love wrapping paper that has the cut marks on the back because I feel like I'm just on my A game when it comes to wrapping gifts if I have a little help cutting straight. Okay, so if you're wondering what in the world do you do with the scrap vinyl, because it obviously will not auto feed half length into the joy. If you're wondering what to do with this, I will um, link another video about what to do with your scrap smart materials. Um, I find it really helpful. That way you know that you should keep this. Don't um, throw it away because it is not a waste. You can reuse it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to weed our letters. So weeding, um, if you're new to weeding, weeding is just the process of taking away anything from the design that you're not going to use. So I like to start with the backing. So I just start with all the surrounding area. And then, ooh, this is a lot of vinyl all at once. Make sure it doesn't go and stick on itself. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go through each individual letter and we'll just weed out the middles. Okay. Right like that. Super easy. And then what I like to do just to double check myself because things happen when you're crafting is I just like to go through and run my weeding tool lightly over each letter. That way my eye tracks my weeding tool. And then I can just double check that everything, um, all the little middles got weeded out. Okay, so now we are going to do some transfer tape over the top because the transfer tape is what's going to take the design from the matte carrier sheet um, to 
the transfer sheet so that we can place it then on our project. So I'm just going to kind of measure, again I'm going to make just a little slit right here. That way I know where to cut. And then I'm going to make a little cut right here. And I'll get this cut out so that we only use the transfer tape that we need and the rest we can save. Okay, let me find where I did that little cut right here. I love this idea um, because I think it's really important to display your kids' art. They just get so much pride from creating it and they work so hard on it and so I just think it's really important to um, just share in that excitement and put it on display in your home. So this has been a really fun little addition to our house. So I'm glad I'm making another one so that she can continue and do stuff in her room as well. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, sometimes a weeding tool can be helpful, um, is I'm just going to pierce the little side of this just to get a little bit of it pulled up. And I'll show you how I'm going to lay this down. Come on. Here we go. So, maybe. There we go. <laughs> it's comical. Okay. So, I find that when you're working with really long pieces of vinyl, it's really helpful to lay down the first part. And then as you go from um, one side to the other, you are just going to pull this backing away and allow the tape just to come down. Meanwhile, you can start scraping just to make sure that the tape is laying down evenly as you go. I kind of just start running my hand over it and then come back through with the scraper. This is such a pretty color. So nice. Okay. And as you can tell, it's one of my favorite colors because it makes its way onto my channel quite a bit, this blush type of color. The, the Cricut calls it tulip, which is so cute. Um, so I don't know that I got that perfectly straight with in terms of the grid lines, but it's on there without bubbles, so or with minor bubbles at least. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip that over and continue scraping because this is just going to help make sure that it starts transferring over to the transfer tape. So now with it still upside down, I'm just going to start peeling away and keeping my um, weeding tool handy just in case any of the letters like this one need just a little help nudging um, off of that mat or carrier sheet. Okay. Looking really nice. I used to be really, really intimidated by really long projects because I just felt like it was so much to work with, so many materials, but um, they, it really, it's kind of one of those things that's like anything else, practice just takes um, a little time to make everything work perfectly. Um, so if you're intimidated like me, just go head first into it because you will get it. It just takes a little time and it's easier if you just stay patient <laughs> as well. Okay, so it's a little hard to see on that floral mat, but I'll hold it up in just a second, and then you'll see it also against that white wood, which it'll really pop and look really nice. Okay, so let me just kind of pull this up here. Let's see if I can do it against the white table. <laughs> kind of, okay. Well, you'll see it in just a second, so hold tight. So now we'll just grab our board, and ooh, I need to check, oh good, I'm so glad I checked. I need to make sure that um, the clasps on the right side, I almost made a mistake there. Okay, um, also this is from the wood, um, it's just called wood sign, it's from the wood pile section in Hobby Lobby. It does come as bare wood, so you'll have to paint it like I mentioned, um, and again, I use just chalk paint. 
so now, now you can see those pretty, pretty letters. So now I'm going to do my best to get this all centered. Eek. And vinyl wants to stick right away. So make sure that once you lay it down, you're pretty confident that that's where it's going to go because it will be pretty unforgiving and not want to come back up. I'm going to go with that. Okay, so now I'm just going to, let me start with my fingers actually, I'll start in the beginning, middle, and just go towards the sides just to make sure everything's down, and then I'll go through with my scraper and just pull. Or push, I suppose. Looks really nice. Okay, now what I can do is just lightly, so I don't scratch the wood, but I love using that little weeding tool just to grab a corner of my transfer tape, and then I can just peel away. Easy as that. How cute. My girls' rooms are in this color as well, so it's going to just look really, really nice. Okay, so that is all perfect. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply these little stars. And like I said, I did go back and weld them so that they would be in the right clusters. And I'm gonna use some transfer tape here for that. I suppose I could have reused, um, did I, I kind of got this all fumbled, but let me try to reuse, let's save some material. Let's reuse this. Okay, so cutting off a little piece here. Whoops, didn't quite cut it, did I? Okay. Just push them on there. Still has quite a bit of stick to it, so I should have been more careful and not toss that, but sometimes with those long pieces, it's really hard to, to, um, get them off anyway, or save them, figure out how to save them appropriately. Okay, and I'm just kind of nudging it along with my weeding tool, and I'm just going to come over here and place. Perfect. That looks really nice. You can also, since these are fairly um, big, you could use your tweezers and just kind of peel them up like a sticker, and that would work as well. So whatever way you like to do things is perfectly fine. I always say whatever is going to, you know, make you feel the most confident, then that's kind of what I think. Okay. And the same technique, just, I feel like this um, glitter -y, I guess, vinyl is kind of hard to transfer over to transfer tape so I always like 99% of the time I'm using my weeding tool to kind of help nudge it along all right so now oops, lost the star there so now I want this different from the other one so I'm just gonna kind of rotate it like I did in design space and place And then scrape down. Okay, and you can just peel away. How fun! She's gonna love this. It's so girly too. I love the the glittery um, gold with the blush color. Super pretty. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply these little. Um, we're gonna glue these little clothespins to the board. So I like to lay them out and they can conveniently have little staple holes along here. Feel free to measure if you want to do that. I feel like I'm just going to eyeball it. Um, it's going to work just fine. I think that's about right. I guess those nail holes aren't completely even. So, okay, so that looks pretty good to my eye. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my hot glue and I'm just going to start gluing down. So I'll just grab this one and put a long strip on and 
glued down. Just hold it for just a second or two, and then you can go towards the next one. So if you, again, um, if you don't have a little one at home, or if you're not in need of an artwork sign, you can do something like um, this for maybe your laundry room. Um, have you guys seen like all the people doing the lost socks um, craft? It's so, so cute. So you could kind of do something like that and just pin lost socks to it. Um, and that would be cute. You could do something for your kitchen if you like and maybe pin, um, you know, lists to it, honeydew lists, grocery lists. You could make a sign um, for like grandparents and they could, you know, you could put something personal up here and then you could also, you know, let them pin little pictures of the grandkids on there. That would be really cute. Um, just the ideas are pretty endless on there. So you have the technique and the idea and the supplies. So now you can just totally personalize it to do whatever you would like. I'm just going to do this last little one real quick, and we are all set. My glue gun is awful, you guys. It just leaks everywhere. So I asked in the last video, if you guys know of a good replacement, let me know, because I'm totally ready to shop for a new one. It's kind of a stinker. It leaves glue all over my things, and it's just dripping everywhere. <laughs> okay. So here we are, we're at the last little bit. It's all finished and I really like how it turned out. She's gonna love this. Okay, so now that all of my stuff is all cleaned up and my space is clear, here is the final look. I love the glittery stars, it looks so sweet. I think this is gonna be a really fun addition to her room and I'm really, really happy that she has another place to display all of her pretty work. So I uh, hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun. Um, recording this for you. It was a lot of fun. And I also am going to do another tutorial about what to do once the art comes down from these boards because I think as mamas and daddies sometimes we um, get a little guilty about you know keeping everything and what to toss and what to keep. So I do have a little method to my um, you know thought process of children's art and what to do with it once um, it's done being on display. So um, I am going to be doing a tutorial on how I crafted a certain um, box and how I organize it all. So um, if you're interested, be sure you are all subscribed. So if you enjoyed this, I would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up. And like always, make sure you are all ready to go by subscribing so you don't miss what's coming to the craft channel next. All right, everyone, have a wonderful week.